All right, guys, uh, Mr. Rage 22 here. So I'm, this is going to be a bit of a short video, not too long. Uh, I'm a little bit pissed off right now. So a horror game that I've been following for quite a long time now has finally come out. Actually, it came out a while ago. It came out on like the 7th of this month. And I was super excited to play it. I even pre-ordered the game. And, you know, like I just said, I've been following this game for a long time now. Uh, to get you guys up to speed, the game is called Madison. Uh, it is a game that is very reminiscent of PT and Visage. It is another one of your typical haunted house games. But this game uh, actually had a little bit more going for it than just your typical haunted house bullshit. Uh, essentially, in a game, you are being hunted down and chased by evil spirits. Uh... You're, while you're also solving puzzles and, uh, you know, just making progress. Uh, one cool thing about the game that I'll say right off the bat is the puzzles will change every time you play. And the game also has, like, these random events that happen. So, you know, uh, the game had a lot going for it. Um, huge shout out to the developers of the game. The developers of the game, um, basically, they made this game on a shoestring budget. So they are a very small team. And I know what you're thinking. You're gonna. You're, I'm guessing you're thinking that because of this, this is why the game ended up being crap on console. Well, actually, no. The developers of this game, like the actual developers, they are very, very capable and are very, very talented because they handled the PC version of the game. All right, they developed the PC version. And the PC version is just fine. There's barely any problems with it. There's a couple of bugs, but nowhere near as bad as the console version. But uh, the game is super good. This is a super good horror game. One of the best indie games of the year, I'd say. Like, honestly, uh, I, there has been a couple of other indie horror games that came out this year. But I'd say nowhere near as good as Madison. I'd say this is the best indie horror game of the year so far. So, and you know, I understand that Outlast Trials is coming this year, but still, like in terms of indie horror, I think Madison definitely takes the cake, which makes it all the more disappointing because unfortunately for us console players, the people who were in charge of porting this game to console, well, let's just say that they literally fucked it. Like, holy crap. I've seen some bad ports, but <gasps> sweet Jesus, whoever was in charge of porting this game for console, I just want to say congratulations. You have successfully fucked up and ruined what could have what could what could have been a great experience for us console players, but you literally ruined it. I'm trying not to turn this into a rant video, but honestly, I am getting so tired of these shitty publishing teams who make these half-ass baked ports of a game. A game that runs flawlessly on one platform, but runs like shit on another, all because of their half-baked port of the game. I know it may not seem like it, but porting a game is just as important as actually developing it in the first place. Because you are literally getting that game on other platforms for other people to enjoy. So your role in providing that is an extremely important one. So when you have ports like this for console that run like crap because barely any time or effort was put into them, it really pisses me off. I was super excited to play this game, all right? I'm a huge fan of the paranormal and haunted house type shit. Y'all know I absolutely loved Visage and Infliction, which were two other haunted house games very similar to this one. So when this game came out, I was very excited to get right into it. And now here I am waiting for the patch to come out because the people who ported this shit to console literally destroyed it. Not only does the game have bugs that makes it nearly unplayable, but the game barely even functions properly. This is a Series X game. Keep in mind, this game was supposed to be optimized for Series X. And hell, it wasn't even optimized for actual console. But this is an optimized Series X game. And it runs 
like pure dog shit. Like I, I'm, I'm so tired of these stupid publishing teams. Like I said, porting a game is an extremely important role because you are essentially porting a game from PC onto a console so that way more people can enjoy that game. So your role is an important one. So when you see developers, I mean publishers or like, you know, the team, like the teams who port these games, assholes like this, because these are the motherfuckers who did it. This publisher fucking sucks. Like seriously, how did any of the problems of this port get past the playtesting? Which has led me to believe that there simply wasn't any. Because right off the bat, when you start playing this shit, you immediately realize just how unstable the frame rate is and how many bugs there is. There's one bug in the game right now that where every time you get an achievement, your game literally just crashes and goes back to the home screen. And another problem, which is the more obvious one, is the frame rate. And keep in mind, this game is a Series X game. This is a next gen game and the frame rate is garbage this game runs like a call of duty game that was ported to the nintendo wii back in 2010 and i don't understand this crap like these th this port was clearly half-baked and there was clearly no time or effort or actual care put into it, which is why the game ended up being as broken as it was because this is not just a simple bad port. It is literally a horrible one. The game is barely even playable on console. And yes, even PS5 is impacted by this. And God forbid, if you're on PS4 or Xbox One, don't even spend the $35 for it. Because, of course, the game is also $35. And one other thing I want to say, it is not the developer's fault. Okay? I actually want to give a huge shout-out to the developers because they done a masterful job on actually creating this game. And the fact that they made it on such a shoestring budget proves that even a small team that may not seem capable can actually end up knocking it right out the park. And that is exactly what the developers of this game did. So huge shout out to the developers. I actually got in contact with them on Twitter and Discord. I will leave their Discord link in the description so that way you could join their Discord server. This developer definitely needs support because they've done a fantastic job with this game. If you have a PC and if you're a horror fan, I'm going to say it right now, definitely buy the game. As soon as the game gets patched and hopefully the game will actually fucking work on console, I will have a proper review out for the game. You know I will. Because obviously you guys know that I love this haunted house bullshit. It's just right up my alley. It's right up my ass. It's right down my throat. So, you know, I love The Conjuring as well. I'm actually about to watch that right now. So I love this haunted house crap. So, you know, I, I love playing garbage like this. I mean, I, I didn't mean to call it garbage, but you know, like... Like, most horror games, I mean, most horror games are cliche like that, but, like, that that's the, that's so great about them, you know? Like, that's the that's the wonders of them. But, yeah, the the, the people who poured this game on console, fuck y'all. Honestly, fuck y'all, okay? I understand that there could be problems with the game and maybe it could get past the playtesting, but if a game has as many problems... Or, no, not a game, the port. If the port of the game has as many noticeable issues that are clearly noticeable, there is no way in hell that they managed to slip by the playtesting, which is why I believe that the fucking people who ported this shit to console didn't even bother to playtest it on Xbox and PS5 to make sure it was working properly before releasing it to the public. So yeah, prep games, fuck y'all. Seriously, just, just fuck y'all. You people have ruined what could have been an amazing experience for console players. And we pay the same price as PC players, so it's not like we don't deserve to have the same experience as them, okay? We paid the same price for them, and we bought the game for the same purpose. So why was our experience screwed, literally screwed, because of these garbage-ass porting teams like this one? And I'm tired of this shit. I've already said this before, porting a game 
is an extremely important role because you are porting that game in the first place to other platforms so more people can have access to and enjoy that game. So your role for porting a game is a very important one. So when you have shitty teams like this that make these half-ass baked ports that are not even functional but are still full price and available to the public, it's a fucking disgrace and I fucking hate it. I was super excited to play this game. I remember when it came out. It came out exactly at 8 p.m. It was nighttime outside. The atmosphere was just right. You know that weird smell in the atmosphere in the nighttime sky that you get? Everything. The night sky, the air, it all felt just right. I was like, yeah, man. I'm about to play a scary-ass game. Gonna shit my pants. Gonna have a good old spooky time. Gonna remind me that it's gonna be that same time when I played Vissa. I'm gonna be able to experience another fantastic haunted house game. And... Then I realized, I quickly realized that this game was going to be what it was. A game so amazing that I couldn't even experience it. I couldn't even experience the wonders of this game. All because of a shitty fucking publisher like these motherfuckers right here. That night, I turned off my console. I cried myself to bed. My night was ruined. I didn't wake up again for a couple of days because this damaged my soul. Honestly, I know this may not seem like a big deal, but you know, serious talk here, guys. I am very passionate about video games. And as you all know, I am mentally ill. I have a very severe mental illness, ADHD. It sucks the life out of me. And video games are honestly my comfort zone. Video games are almost as effective as antidepressants, honestly, because they, they, they just... They bring me a type of happiness that I can't get from anything else, not even movies, which is my second favorite favorite hobby. So I'm very passionate about games. So when I see crap like this, it damages my soul. It's not it doesn't just it doesn't just break my heart when I see these garbage ass these garbage ass teams right here for you know who make these ports. I, I've already had one broken game. That damaged my soul. As you all know, GTA Trilogy Remastered. That, that shit already damaged my soul. This damaged the rest of it. And now my soul is just shattered. On the ground. I know it may not seem like a big deal, guys. And, you know, you're right to think that. I mean, maybe you're not as passionate about video games as I am. But, you know, honestly, like... The, 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 when I saw this game in the state it was... This great game that was just... Begging to be experienced by a horror fan and a lover of video games like myself and I couldn't actually do it because of these assholes right here who completely fucked the port. It honestly, it it brought me to tears. Honestly. Like, my night was ruined. That, that day my night was completely ruined. So, a little bit of a, you know, a glimmer of hope is I have contacted the developers and not the shitty publishing team but the developers and... The developers say that the publishing team who ruined the game in the first place already have a patch coming. The patch was supposed to drop today, but it's been delayed because Xbox needs to verify it because, you know, fuck Xbox. I'm not sure if it's Xbox or the actual... I don't think it's the actual publishers because the developers of the game said that the patch should be out. But I looked up online and apparently it takes a little while for Microsoft to verify the patch. So, yeah, fuck Xbox for that, but... As soon as that patch comes out, I will keep you guys updated. Don't buy this on console yet. The game is, as you can see, the game is $35, so pretty pricey. Don't buy this on console. Whether you're on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox X, or Xbox One X, don't... Especially on Xbox Series S, on Series S, don't even get me started. Don't buy this on console. If you're on PC, buy it. But if you're on console, I would avoid it, at least till the game gets fixed. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, I was trying not to turn this into a rant video, but uh, I got a little emotional because, you know, like I said, I, I was very, very upset by the state that this game was in due to the shitty publisher who ported the game to console. I hope you all enjoyed this rant video. If you stuck by, if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you for watching till the end. And thank you for listening to everything I have to say. You're a true, true homie, and I really appreciate you for actually sticking by and watching but uh that is the end of this video guys thanks for watching uh please like the video if you um you know enjoyed it obviously uh and if you want to subscribe go ahead 
uh, I make all kinds of content. My channel is completely focused on random content only. So, you know, you'll, you'll be getting quite a lot from this channel if you do subscribe. So definitely subscribe if you want random content, you know, just all kinds of stuff. I never stick to only one type of content. I'm always making different types of videos whenever I can. So yeah, this channel does not focus on only one type of content. This channel focuses on everything I find interesting. So yeah, guys, uh, definitely subscribe. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will keep you guys updated on this situation. Like I said, soon as the game gets patched and I uh, do a play test of it again and make sure it's working all right, uh, not only will I keep you guys updated, but I will have an official review for the game as well. So if the, if, if you see a review for the game, if, if, you, see, if you see a, a review for the game from me, that means that the game has been fixed and it's working perfectly fine or else I wouldn't review it in the first place. But if you guys don't see a review within a week, then the game has probably just been abandoned, which would be a very, very sad outcome. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Mr. Rage 22 signing off. Bye-bye, guys, and have a good one.